Welcome to Full Sail Partners Dell Tech Vision How To Series. Did you know you can quickly update data in seconds with the Search and Replace feature? The Search and Replace utility makes it possible for you to update fields globally for multiple records. Some examples of using the Search and Replace utility might be making project records dormant on all levels, inactivating contacts that have bounced emails, and moving data from one field to another. The possibilities are endless and great for data cleanup. One thing to note, to utilize the Search and Replace utility, you will need the right security access. Let's look at an example. We have a list of unsubscribes from a mailing. We are going to update the checkbox for a custom unsubscribe field in seconds for multiple records. In my unsubscribe list, I will use the email address since it is a unique identifier that I can use to cross-reference my contacts. However, I need to get my data in a form that I can add to a search criteria. So here is a little trick to get the data in the right format. In my unsubscribe list, I will highlight the email addresses and copy them into Word. I need them separated by a semicolon, so the first step is to convert the table into text. Next, click on the Control F on your keyboard for the Find function and choose Replace. I search for the paragraph marks and replace them with semicolons. Now my email addresses are in a format I can use in a search, so I'm going to copy them to search upon. Now navigate to Search and Replace by going to Utilities, Advanced Utilities, Search and Replace. Choose the application area you want to update. In this case, I will choose Contacts. Now we will select the records by searching by their email address. I'm going to search email addresses that contain the addresses in my unsubscribe list by pasting those email addresses in the search list. Next, I choose the custom unsubscribe field under the column to update. Finally, I will choose value in the update method and the value I will add is Y for yes. Y and N are values used for checkboxes. The Y indicates I want the checkbox checked. Other options include moving a value from another column, and for more advanced users, you can also create an SQL expression. Now I will provide a description so I know what I did. Once I'm ready, I can press Run to execute. If I'm not ready to run the change, I can also save it to run it later. I also have the option to view past history. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. Subscribe today to receive notification when new videos and articles are released.